Mark, you're tonight's rock and roll victor. And now you must, as always, choose one of your team to take tonight's challenge. Who's it gonna be, baby? <laughs> Actually, Mark, in fact, no, it's a bit of a brute tonight, so I'm gonna ask you, Mark, to come and take the Mamalathon Challenge. Come and join me, Mark. <laughs> I must first ask you to stand on the podium. And put on this jacket, it's actually known as the Shroud of Sensora. And it will protect you from the problems that lay up ahead for you down the road of Melala. <laughs> we'll also ask you to use this shield, and the reason for the shield will become very obvious. Mark. I'll do that for you, Mark. The shield you, of Ishra. The shield of Ishra. Mm. <laughs> now, here's my colleague, Mr. Vic Reeves, to tell you about tonight's challenge. Hello. Hello. I'm stood in the... Uh, the Garden of Tanktata. <laughs> and I've got a selection of mammals of varying sizes here in my garden. <laughs> I'm going to be hurling them at you. <laughs> and for every mammal that you defend yourself from, you get five pounds. Five, five English pounds. pounds. Can, you Can you imagine, imagine that, that? Can you imagine the skiffle records you could buy with that? <laughs> <laughs> Now, Mark, there is one th important rule is, if you should be knocked off the podium by any of the mammals, you'll lose all your money. It, like that, instantly. Like a knife attack. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh, Mark. These are big mammals that are coming out. <laughs> right, now, Mark, are you ready to take the first mammal? Yeah. He's ready, Vic. Yes, well, I'm going to offer up the first mammal, which is the smallest of the mammals. It's the mouse. <laughs> which is delicious with carrots or sweets. Mm. <laughs> Lovely. Here it comes. He's taking it. No problem yet. That's five pounds, Mark. Five pounds. That's five pounds, Mark. Well done. I'll just approach you now and ask you, are you ready to take the next mammal? He's ready. He's very serious about it, and I don't blame him. Right, I'm going to offer up the next mammal, which is slightly larger. It's the rabbit. A rabbit. <laughs> and what would you cook that with, Vic? Well, I'd just boil it in some moist water. <laughs> <laughs> moist water? Very difficult to yes. come by these days. I need to with bread. Anyway, here we are with the rabbit. All the best, man. <laughs> He's taking it! <laughs> no problem there. The rabbit bringing out the poacher's instinct in Mark Lamar, the grease ball. <laughs> Right. <laughs> right, so the mouse and the rabbit are safe, Mark. Are you prepared to take the next mammal? You want yes, the biggest? He, he wants the next he looks mammal. A bit worried, doesn't it's he? a bit bigger. A bit bigger, Mark. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> it's a leopard. <laughs> the most spotted of all mammals. And what would you eat that with, Vic? Well, I'd eat that with uh, an apple. But, <laughs> hot or cold? A cold apple. Cold apple. <laughs> You ready, Mark? Here it comes. <laughs> Here comes the leopard. Oh. Very, very successful deflection there. Very succinct. <laughs> I'm going to move the leopard away, Mark. Are you ready to take the final mammal? No. He is. He said he's ready there, Vic. He's perfectly happy. The next mammal is this. <laughs> It's a bear. <laughs> if you leave the podium, you lose your cash bag. <laughs> Simply boil it and eat it off the bone. <laughs> Are you ready? He's ready, Vic. Here comes the bear. Serving up juicy justice next on BBC Two, Julian Clary.